Well guys, today we're going to be checking out all the ways I find bees. Just figured I'd start off with a little clip of looking at this beautiful camouflage hive bait box. We're going to piece all these little clips together of all the places I've went and checked and found bees. Hope you guys enjoy. I know I enjoyed finding them and I sure am going to enjoy catching them. Today at Willie Bees, we're looking at how we select where we hang swarm traps. I'm out here with Keith from Summertime Bees. What we do is we find like this, a road line with a tree, a tree line here, an open field. As you can see, there's water behind that river will recede back. But what we do, we drive two nails in a tree Put a rubber band around it as Keith will exhibit here in a minute because he forgot his rubber band. Put a pint, what we call juice jar with sugar water in it to the tree, turn it upside down. It's got three little holes in the bottom of it. And then we'll spray the tree with a little bit of sugar water with anise oil in it, which is an attractant for honeybees. See if we can get a good view of this. And then we'll come back in about a day and check it. And if there's any sugar water left in it, or if we come back and we find bees all over it still, we'll know there's bees here and then we'll find us a tree to hang a trap on take the trash off we live out in the country so we do not have access to garbage pickup and I had a juice jar left over in the truck from yesterday's ventures coming back around the old way to get to the dump I thought about these high voltage power lines they're right of ways it's something you guys need to know power line right of ways or basically honeybee highways. I stopped, saw this lady out in her front yard and asked her if she'd mind if I put a juice jar up in her yard and if I could draw bees to it, if I could put a swarm trap up. And she said, yeah, after I said, well, I'll give you a free pound of honey if I catch a swarm. So she, uh-oh, looky here. I haven't even got the juice jar up yet. All I did was sprayed the tree with anise oil, anise oil, whichever way you want to call it. Because I went ahead and started, because it's kind of hard to film with a phone and drive nails. But what you do is you drive two nails in, oh, good five inches apart, and one of these big, thick school rubber bands. This is awesome. I didn't even have to wait to come back later on today to check this one this is awesome but yeah it's just a power line right away out here in this neighborhood i'm back here just off the edge because i want to be able to when this tree has leaves on it i want it to get early morning sun as we talked about in the prior videos i'll link, link those down in the bottom in the description so you can go back and watch those if you're new to the channel or new to watching these videos but you want this side of the tree which would be facing east to get that early morning sun to get that smell of that swarm box out but that's awesome i already got a bee on the tree so i know there's bees here but i'm gonna go ahead and hang this juice jar just to see and come back later and finish the video to see which way they're going so i'll know because the wind is blowing from my back toward this tree right now i don't know if that's the prevailing wind or not we'll go over that on how I select spots in the rest of this video but I always want to be if I can figure out which way they're going I want to be upwind of the hive because that way the prevailing wind blows the smell of the swarm trap across the hive continuously to let them know where this swarm box bait box is so we're gonna go ahead and put this juice jar on Shake a little bit of sugar water on the tree. 
This is going to be fun to do with one hand and a, and a phone for my camera. But we're going to get it done. And it's almost done. And that's how we do it. That is actually got a little bit of pollen in it. Got a little of, uh, uh, it's about a little greater than one to one sugar water in it. Got some pollen in it, it's giving it that yellow color. Sprayed the tree like I said before, but I always spray around the, the juice jar a couple of rounds to get that smell in the air. Spray it and get it in the air. But that's what we do. We'll come back in a couple of hours, check this out and see what kind of bees we got. Another change of venue. Another good place is power line right of ways. Right here you've got a crossing. You've got the high voltage power lines and the regular power lines going left to right. And as you can see, the ones going straight ahead, they tend to be a good place to find bees. Keep coming back from hanging our juice jar out in the middle. Of, got water. Got a couple of ponds back to the right of the video. Looks like there's one straight through there. Yep. Just another little stop on the side of the road. I don't know how well you can see all of these honeybees. But this is a pear tree. You look up through there, you can see them flying around. They are all over this pear tree. Another way, I just drive down the road, stop, look at people's trees. There you go, she's gathering pollen. Look at them, this tree is covered with them. So I'll need to find me a spot somewhere to put a swarm trap or ask these folks if I can put one in their yard. We'll finish this video up here shortly. I'll be back to where the juice jar we hung earlier is sorry about the videos being choppy but this is important stuff as you can see there's a honeybee on a dandelion that's one of the ways I find where bees are located is stopping and looking at flowers like dandelions I know they eat they love they love peach trees, apple trees, pear trees. They'll actually work Bradford pears. But this young lady is working that dandelion. I just happened to stop. I'm about 15 miles from home. I went out riding. Stopped up here where they opened up some land to build houses. And I thought I'd just look, see what was up here. And by George, I found honeybees. But I stop along the roads where I see a lot of dandelions when they're blooming, that is one surefire way to find honeybees. As you can see, this whole roadside up through here is just covered with dandelions. There's your tree line, here's your power line. Open field is a good way to reference location for them. That old rusty building would be another good landmark. While I was sitting here looking at this bee, oh, she's still on there. While I was sitting there watching this bee, I heard a couple of them fly by me. So that tells me that sometime during the night, I need to work my way up there to that tree line and put a swarm trap. Because as I've said, it'll get sun in the morning, shade in the afternoon, and get that smell of that swarm trap out. Well, I'm going to head home. I'll stop and check that juice jar we put out, oh, about an hour ago. And we'll see what we got there. Well, guys, it's been 24 hours. As you can tell, it is not leaked out and the jar is empty. There's no ants. So that tells me that there's honeybees around here somewhere that have drained the jar, came by today, 
scouts did and did not find any juice. So they went looking everywhere else. Remember earlier, we found a bee once I sprayed the tree with anise oil or anise oil and sugar water. We already had a bee before I had the jar up. So I expected this. We're going to cut the clip here and we'll eventually piece all this together and get a video. Thanks for watching, Woolly Bees. Well, now that we've done all our running around, it's time to put all this video together, piece all of it together, so I'm going to say up front, sorry for all the chops and cuts in it, but I'm not the greatest at working with these video editors. But we went down and we looked at power lines, power line right-of-ways, which I stated are honeybee highways. Anytime you find a field with a fence line, a tree line, always a great place to check for bees. I'm going to give you just a few of the things that I see as I ride down the road. There's a lady visiting me now, but that's neither here nor say. There's 70 hives here at the house. But things that I stop and look at on the side of the roads and in people's yards, crab trees, crab apple trees, pear trees, peach trees, apple trees, Ornamental cherries, weeping cherries, Bradford pears, even though that's kind of a last resort, dandelions, hen bit, that little purple flower that's growing in your yard, mustard greens, they're in the, uh, cano the family with canola, which being a beekeeper, you bound to have heard of the great benefits of putting bees on canola. Red maples in the end of January here in Southeast Tennessee. Rosemary, the herb, blooms February, March. Oregon grapes, red bud trees are starting to bloom now here in the middle of March. But the thing that I'm trying to, to get through in this video is don't just shoot in the dark and just place a trap, not know there's bees there. There's nothing more disheartening than to check a trap for three, four months and not catch a thing. If you at least know there's bees in your area, you have a 50-50 chance of catching a swarm. Everything you do to this box to make it smell like a, a hive or a dead out hive ups that. But you got to understand also you're competing with the dead out hives in that area. You've got to make your box more enticing. The clean box, the smell, the drone comb that's in there, the propolis that we've put in there. And this year I'm using Swarm Buddy. Give you a little closer look at the bottle. You can get this at Fork Mountain Bees. That's F-O-R-K-M-O-U-N-T-A-I-N-B-E-E-S dot com. Gentleman's name is Jamie. He sends with it a little instruction packet and how he advises you to apply it with a sandwich bag, a piece of desk cloth, and a little piece of a straw. I'm going to try that, but I'm going to continue using my way that I used to do with Swarm Commander. But the thing you've got to really understand about bees is as long as you have a dry keyword here dry swarm trap you've got a great chance of them moving in if you are in their area in the next video we're going to be actually hanging the box and applying the swarm commander the way that i said swarm commander swarm buddy a swarm buddy the way this gentleman tells you to apply it and then after that we're going to be doing a video during the year a couple of videos of actually checking these traps showing you if we get swarms if not I'm hoping that this is going to be a great success 
I'm always willing to try something better. They tell me this Swarm Buddy is better than Swarm Commander. Swarm Commander is definitely a step up from lemongrass because never had luck with lemongrass oil. But you've got to find bees to catch bees. We're going to leave you with a little bit of extra where I, we actually went out. Well, I say we, actually, this when I found this hive was by myself. I didn't have Keith from Summertime Bees with me. I actually went out and found a bee tree. Followed them back from, from the juice jar. Got a direction of which way they were going. Followed that line and eventually found the actual bee tree. So I'll put that little bit of footage in at the end. Thanks for watching Wooly Bees. Like and subscribe and hit that little bell so you get a notification. Go back and watch the other videos if you in, have any inclination in catching swarms. And we'll see you next time. Have a great day, because I know I am. Thanks.